life in North Korea, a totalitarian nation, is even stranger than any made-up story. As defectors continue to reveal their stories, the nation's reputation grows increasingly bizarre. It's defined by an extremely authoritarian government, and its regulations are notably distinct from those found elsewhere on the globe. Here are some of the strangest and most shocking laws followed by residents of North Korea. Cult like following. North Koreans must idolize their leader. Anything that disrespects the Kim family, the government, or the politicians of North Korea is considered a form of blasphemy and can be met with severe punishment. Additionally, when North Koreans mention the name of their leader, they always must prefix it with an adjective that exalts him, such as Dear Kim or Supreme Kim. Driving. Due to financial restraints and the requirement of a special permit, very few citizens in North Korea own and drive cars. Most people rely on public transport and bicycles. International calls. International calls are also forbidden. The act is considered a crime and can be punished by death, as was the fate of a factory owner who was caught making international calls from his basement in 2007. He was executed by firing squad in front of 150,000 people. Travel. North Koreans are forbidden to flee or travel abroad without permission. Unless you have been given permission, you are not allowed to spend a holiday or even a short weekend in neighboring South Korea. Control. Tourists in North Korea must follow strict rules and are closely supervised by guides and officials. Failure to comply can lead to severe consequences, including detention or deportation. Visitors are expected to respect the country's leadership and ideology. Travel to North Korea is highly regulated, with tourists limited to approved guided tours. Internet North Korea has strict limitations on Internet access. In the country, Internet access is highly restricted, and only a select few individuals, typically in specific professions, are granted access to certain websites. Even in these cases, Internet usage is closely monitored and supervised by the government. Profession North Korea, individuals do not have the freedom to choose their careers. The government determines people's professions based on the country's needs, rather than individual preferences. Defectors have reported that the most desirable jobs often go to the children of the wealthy and influential individuals in the country. Haircuts Have you ever noticed that North Koreans have very similar hairstyles? This is not by chance. When Kim Jong-un took office in 2013, he introduced a list of haircuts that would be allowed in the country. Home. In North Korea, citizens typically do not have the freedom to choose where they live. The government owns most of the property in the country and assigns housing to citizens based on various factors, including their perceived loyalty to the regime and their roles within society. Housing assignments are not typically a matter of personal choice for North Koreans. Fires. When a fire breaks out, the first thing citizens must do is save the pictures of North Korean political leaders and only then can they save their belongings and their own lives. A mother of two was arrested in 2020 for saving her two children, but leaving behind the portraits of Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il when a fire broke out in her home. Music and Movies North Korea promotes a strong sense of nationalism, and the consumption of foreign media, such as movies and music, is highly restricted. Watching foreign movies or listening to foreign music is indeed considered a crime in North Korea. The government tightly controls the flow of information and entertainment from outside the country, as it aims to maintain strict ideological control over its citizens and limit exposure to foreign influences. Violating these restrictions can result in severe consequences, including punishments and even imprisonment. Same aim. According to the South China Morning Post, North Korea has historically banned individuals from sharing names with its leaders and their immediate family members. The enforcement of this policy, which involves requiring people to change their names, is a part of the regime's effort to show respect for their leaders. In 2014, Kim Jong-un also implemented a rule against people having the same name as him, carrying a Bible. Western religious practices and ideologies are forbidden in the country. There have been cases of public executions of people who have distributed copies of the Bible to North Korean citizens. In 2014, an American named Jeffrey Fowl was detained in North Korea for leaving a Bible in a public place, which, in North Korea, was considered a violation of their strict regulations against religious materials. While there are churches in North Korea, 
they are indeed tightly controlled by the government, and religious practices, including the distribution of religious materials, are subject to severe restrictions. June 8 Laws Since the death of North Korean President Kim Il-sung in 1994, June 8 has become a day of mourning. People are restricted from some activities on this day, including drinking alcohol. Smiling or talking loudly on June 8 is also strictly prohibited as it's considered to be disrespectful towards the deceased president. Since dance is considered to represent joy, it is also prohibited on June 8. Anyone who doesn't respect these rules can be severely punished or imprisoned. Clothes The use of some types of clothing is also restricted in North Korea. Skinny jeans, for example, are considered a symbol of capitalism, and therefore people are not allowed to wear them. As women are expected to maintain a modest coverage of their bodies, so the use of a bikini is not allowed. Swimwear only became available in 2014 when North Korea attempted to relax its fashion rules to appear more modern. There were also regulations in North Korea that prohibited women from wearing trousers until 2009. The government did lift this ban and allowed women to wear neat trousers at that time. However, there have been reports of subsequent crackdowns on fashion influences from South Korea and the West which led to a return to more traditional clothing in recent years. The North Korean government has sought to maintain strict control over various aspects of its citizens' lives, including clothing choices, in order to uphold a particular cultural and ideological image. Privacy. Any tourist visiting North Korea is subject to a very meticulous inspection. Phones, cameras, and computers are seized as soon as visitors cross the country's border and are only returned after they leave the country. Weekends. North Koreans work six days a week, and the average person works almost seven hours of overtime each week, meaning they get very little time off. Falling asleep in a meeting. Falling asleep while the chief speaks can mean big trouble. The North Korean defense minister, Han Yong Chol, was reportedly executed with an anti aircraft gun for having fallen asleep during one of Kim Jong un's events, which was considered extremely disrespectful. Concentration camps. The penalty for those who don't comply with this law is also severe. They are sent to a concentration camp to do forced labor. What are your thoughts about these North Korean laws? Share your opinions down in the comments.